an opportunity to start thinking about our recruiting and our talent communities and our talent pools from a proactive standpoint as opposed to a reactive standpoint. And that's by changing the way that we interact Please. with our job seekers to be more about telling the story of why do you want to work for us, why do you want to be one of our candidates, what is it that we're going Thank to be able you. to do for you that somebody else in the world can do, right? What is our brand? Um, disclaimer here is that your Facebook page will not be regularly visited by your fan page, and that's or by your fans, and that's why it's important to frame your communications with those with that fan base from the focus. However, if you give them a reason to, they will come back to your page. And so there is this, I guess we, we brought that up because there's this prevailing mythology that if somebody likes your page, they're going to come back again and again and again, they're going to check it all the time and they're going to be involved with it. That doesn't happen. In fact, most people like the page and never go back to it unless they have an engaging reason to go back to that page, right? So that's asking for things like comments. Um, that's the same. So we put on our fan, fan page a couple of days ago, I just took a picture outside my office window and then I said, what does your office window look like this outside your office window look like this morning? Send us a picture and let us know, right? That's helping people to engage but in a way that doesn't take up a whole lot of time. All they really need to do is pick up their iPhone, snap the picture, upload it to the wall, and it's there. So this is another good example. We're hiring. Check out our careers tab on our Facebook page and learn about a perfect job. Right? So that's not to bring people and engage them in that perfect job. The other nice thing about um, Facebook now is that when they go and you know, have to tell me, you know, actually ask them to do this, but can they comment on jobs that they see on a be known wall? I'm not actually Uh, that I always bring up because I love it is uh, there's a healthcare 
other group out in BC, actually the BC government runs the health care out there, um, and they encourage doctors as they save lives to post that on the Facebook wall, right? And so every time a doctor saves a life, they're encouraged to go, you know, on their break, because the doctors work hard, um, and say, I just saved a six-year-old kid who had, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever the case may be. Not so much that, you know, patients, I mean, patients read this and they love her, which is great for, you know, Facebook, they love the page. Um, but doctors also want to go and work there now. Because they're saying to themselves, you know what, this looks like a cool place to work in. I'm going to be recognized for the things that I do. Every time I do something fantastic, I'm not going to have somebody yelling at me, or it's not going to be obscure. It's going to be out there for the world to see. I want to go work for those guys. So, very, very good example of using that story, that power of storytelling. Um, another one that I can also share with you um, that I also really like is Oracle Amiga. Um, works with my good friend Bill Borman over in the UK. Um, and basically they're on their Facebook wall every Friday, they walk down to the cafeteria, and this gets shared around in Oracle, and they take a picture of what's on the menu. And they call it, they call it actually, the posts are all called What Are We Eating? Um, and it's a great employee, or it's a great employment branding tool, because people who want to work there will know that they'll be fed well, and that they get subsidized and free food. And everybody, as you all know right now, loves food, right? And so people would, people relate to that very, very strongly. And they've actually seen their flow of applicants go up considerably simply by posting their menus on the wall. Wrong uh, channel. So this is what we're saying. Give it to them on a plate. You can insert photos, videos, milestones, stories in your timeline, in any place amongst your company's history. And so, and it's very, very easy to do. And so when you have the posting area up above, it's going to say, do you want to post a post, do you want to post a picture, or do you want to post a milestone? Um, and so you can post milestones at any point. Um, this is, again, uh, one of Johnny's, he was at the National Recruitment Federation Awards in 2011. Um, and as you can see, you can post an infinite amount of data on here. If you want to post a video or a photo on that, you can post it that as well. Um, and that always shows up as being highlighted on your uh, fan page. And so, you know, on our fan page, uh, we've added milestones like increasing the first North American Blue Belt program, increasing our first social HR program. I'm sure you guys will have tons of milestones as well. Like launching, you know, Then, of course, you can also add events in your company history. So did you move your current premises in 2004? Did you win an investor relations award in 2004? Um, insert the story about it and texture your brand with more meaningful insights. Um, so don't be afraid to tell people what's happening within your company. I guess it's kind of the message, right? I mean, everything that happens is an opportunity on Facebook to tell a story about why you're a fantastic company to work for or with, right? Yes. How do you go back in time though? So you mentioned that you can put in here about like when the company started. Yeah. But like if we want to update our page, and last year we were we were on like the top 100 employers. How do we go back to? That was where you use milestone because milestone would actually allow you to pick a date. Okay. That and then enter it. Okay. Yeah, you can pick it actually right down to the actual day that that the milestone occurred, okay. um, and that will automatically chronologically show up in your timeline. I mean, it depends. Sometimes people don't want to do that. They want to move it up because they're farther up in the timeline. But you know, you definitely want to encourage your employees. So if you have a if you have a marketing event that you go to, if you hold an open house, um, whatever the case may be, take lots From of. From a usability standpoint, if you let's say something like that, like top 100 employers, you want to be the top, so you tag it or that whatever that you know, you pin it, you pin it um, at the top, and so it gets a lot of kind of buzz. And then you unpin it, that buzz would stick and that might push it higher, correct? Yes. So that might be some way you could manipulate it a little bit. Yeah, by pinning it or highlighting the story as well. So it's starting to show up as a as a right across your timeline. That's another way as well. But you know, you want to drop up your tent or your your fan engagement, assuming that a lot of those fans are either can are clients or, or potential you know, or clients or potential fans. Are you looking at that? Um, sorry, how do you, you know, put things back in your time about what's there from a few years ago? What's that? How do you do that? It's a milestone. So where do you go? So can you just go through how to do that? There's actually a milestone button, correct? Yeah, so, yeah there's a milestone so button. So as soon as the milestones are part of 
part of the actual just the posting it. 